Hey, what's going on guys? Today we have the shoot dome ports. So I have two different ones. Um, these are both for GoPro Hero 3 Plus or it's gonna be for the GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition, the one with the LCD screen. Um, it will not fit uh, any bigger ones. Like uh, it won't fit a GoPro Hero 4 Black with a back screen. They're, they do sell them though. These versions are just not it. Just to give you a heads up. So this is the 2.0 version right here, the smaller one, and then the 3.0 version. And they're essentially the same thing. You have your float, your GoPro mount, another screw, and a screw on, and just your little booklet. Put that to the side. You open it up, it has this nice uh, protection case right here, it has a nice feel to it, okay, and you have your dome port, just like that, and it does come with a housing, um, I took it out earlier, it's in here actually, so they both come with a housing. This guy essentially comes with the same things. Just a tool kit, the dome port, and this one comes with a handle. Um, so that is the major difference between these two right, right here. Other than that, they are identical. Which is as such. So, and then we open this up. Again, same thing, same protective case, same six, these are both six inch dome ports. Has these pedals right here, good for sun flares. Um, like I said, it comes with the housing. So let me go ahead and take that out. Or you can go ahead and use your own housing. Um, pretty much fits the same, has the same buttons in the front, at the top, in the front, and on the side. On both of these, you have full control of the button right here at the front to um, start, stop, and start recording. You put this guy on the stick versus on the other one, you get the handle. So you screw it in, boom, you can adjust it how you want. I have it a little bit tilted. And so this is what you're going to use a handle for. If you want the handle portion, um, it's going to be better for video. So if you don't care about video as much, this other version is fine, the 2.0 version. But if you're going to be doing a lot of video, you need that steadiness. So in order to go through the water, when you're floating across, you're going to want a good grip and hold it. So you're really definitely going to want to opt in for the one with the handle. Other than that, there's no differences. That's the reason why you would want to go for the 3.0 version is for the handle uh, for steady videos. So um, let me know if you have any questions and that's about it for today. Thanks for watching guys. In case you're wondering why you should get a dome port, what does it do? Um, so, again, uh, you have the sun flares which are gonna help. The dome, dome, the dome port itself, uh, it's gonna let you get those half-half shots, half above the water, half under the water, and you can't get that with the GoPro because the lens is so small, number one, and two, it distorts it, even if you do, Accomplish to get it, there's gonna be a big smudge. It's not gonna be a clear line. Um, and the third biggest reason is actually, uh, even if you were fully submerged, the GoPro obviously is meant to do that. But if you shoot with a dome port, uh, what happens is it's actually more clear and more. Um, let me let me rephrase. So 
if you shoot without the dome port, it's enlarged. If you shoot with the dome port, uh, the under image in the water is not enlarged. It's not magnified. So another reason when you do half-half without a dome port, you're gonna get the top portion. You're gonna get that smudge that you don't want. Plus the bottom part, it's gonna be magnified. It's gonna be way bigger. I'll try to find some example shots and put it in the clip. And then I'll show you clips from today when I did the testing. Um, and then you can see for yourself 